Hello there, folks. Bonky Cook here, aka your Lonely Achievement God, continuing our lawn mowing simulator challenge coverage with amateur challenge number seven. Uh, I don't remember what house this is, but it is the garden of whatever house it is. Um, we have a decent zero turn mower to use. We only have 20 minutes to do so. This is a bit of a close time crunch, but nothing to worry about. Uh, you can actually skip ahead to the end of the video if you want to see with how much time I finish with. Uh, we only have 50 currency for fines, but that shouldn't be uh, too much of an issue for what we're doing. Um, and we can use the pro view. So we're going to jump in. This is a very small, a fairly small lawn. Uh, once you edge it, there's not a whole lot to worry about. There's a couple of uh, patios and a well, as you can see over there. So we're going to turn around and grab our string trimmer, and we're going to pop right through here and start uh, edging around this lawn around the flower gardens. And uh, we're going to run all the way through and start working on this other side. So we finish this one side and then we'll work on the other side. Um, if you are comfortable doing so, you can do this in uh, sprint mode. Uh, that's entirely up to you if you think you're capable of doing so at a faster speed. Um, it's not a bad idea to get the practice, especially when you have uh, the 50 currency fine limit where you have a lot of wiggle room to destroy a flower or two. And we will eventually run into the spot where we came out across the bushes. And there we go. We killed a couple of flowers there. There is a, a flower garden in the center with a bench. So we're going to edge around that. And with that done... Uh, I don't think there's anything else on this side of the lawn that we need to edge. So we're going to head over to the other side. This section is a bit smaller, but there is more to uh, edge. Again, don't worry about the flowers. I've already destroyed like four of them, and you can see how little our penalty bar has gone down. So uh, don't stress about it too much. Unless you take out a row of ten right in quick succession, you'll... Uh, you'll have plenty of penalty room left over. Um, while we're here, we're gonna do, we're gonna do my patented circles around the patio just so we don't run into it. And with that done, we'll continue edging. And again, always check what your cut percentage. I know I didn't do that already, but we need 99.5. So we do have a bit of wiggle room if you leave some uh, edges of grass sitting and uh, left behind. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Just do be cautious when you get over here into the bushes. Make sure that you're uh, still cutting up against the edge of the grass and dirt. Um, because sometimes it can be difficult to get the mower into the bushes. So if you miss a big patch of grass with your trimmer, you may not see it when you come back with the mower. Yeah. 
And I think the only other thing we have to edge is this little well, so we're going to do so. And with that done, that's everything we need to edge. We can just cross the lawn over here to get back to our trailer and mower. If you really want to, you can drive... Oh, no, you can't. I thought you could. Well, never mind then. Drive down the, uh, the pathway. Um, I'm going to use the uh, left side of my mower to edge and we'll have to change our cut I, I'm sorry I thought you could drive through the bushes and just uh, change the or take the penalty so with that done we're gonna use our left side to uh, cut here I'm more comfortable doing that than using my right side and you might kill a flower but don't worry about it unless you've already killed 50 of them in which case you might be close to failing but even then, uh, you have a lot of wiggle room, and there's not really anything else that's going to cause you any penalties on this lawn. So uh, We are overloading our engine. That is something we do have to watch on this. Um, kind of looks like we only have uh, an 85% engine condition before we fail. Uh, so we do have to start paying a little bit more attention to the engine overloads. Uh, but as I've been saying in all the challenges, just to make sure that if you do start overloading, you kind of turn off of the grass you're cutting or you tap the accelerator or come off the accelerator altogether. And then, because uh, your engine only gets damaged if you run the engine while it's overloading. So if you try to push it, as we did right there, uh, we might damage our our engine. But as long as you immediately correct it, you shouldn't have any issues with causing damage to your engine. And again, that's one of the big things to learn uh, towards success in the expert challenges is managing that overload. Um, but this is a, a this is one of the first challenges. These last couple of challenges at the amateur level start to uh, have a bit of stress to them. Um, there's nothing too bad, but especially not compared to the expert level. But uh, the game starts to let you know that it's not going to be just a walk in the park to get your challenges done with these last few. Um, the orchards are a bit of a pain because of all the trees, and I think uh, both Challenge 6 and Challenge 8 are orchards. And then you can move on to the professional ones if you so choose, and uh, get a little more taste of the challenge of the game. Sorry about that, I bumped my mic. Um, I do enjoy the zero turn mowers. Um, I know the, the best mower in the game, I think it's like a Toro 3300 or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I paid a lot more attention when I was playing the career mode primarily because I used that one all the time. But um, That one isn't a zero turn, and it is my favorite mower, but... Uh, the zero turn mowers are so convenient. Uh, and we started with the much larger lawn first. To kind of get that out of the way.
Again, be thorough, but you do have a 0.5% um, buffer of missed grass. Uh, but you do, you are running a time challenge here, so um, you don't want to leave too much grass behind because uh, you may not have time at the end to clean up after yourself like you do in the fuel challenges. So try to be uh, efficient on your first runs so that you don't have to uh, worry about cleaning up uh, at the end of your runs. Because on expert mode, you will not have time to, to clean up after yourself. Uh, in the time challenges, anyways. Obviously, the field challenges still don't have a time limit, so cleaning up won't be an issue. But with the time challenges on Expert, you're not going to have very much time to clean up after yourself. Uh, most of those you finish with uh, a minute to two minutes left. Okay, so that's this section of the lawn done, so we'll head over to the other. And again, just like before, we're going to edge with the left side of our mower. Just by this point, be careful. Make sure that you're not... If you have damaged quite a few flowers, try to be cautious while working your way around the outside. And we're actually going to stop here and uh, make sure we get this patio section cleaned up now. Probably going to have to make uh, t three trips around to get everything, so... And we are now approaching 70%. We only have six and a half minutes left, so. As I said, this is kind of the first time challenge, I think. Um, that you're going to be cutting the time rather close. Um, I can't remember. Was the orchard one before this a time challenge? I don't know. Peek behind the veil. I'm doing this at four in the morning, and... I decided to do this one first because it's shorter than the Orchard one, so I'm actually recording Challenge 7 before Challenge 6. Gasp. Oh, we're going to jump out and uh, edge around the well here. 
just so we get this done. But we are actually in pretty good shape, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure this was a 20 minute contract and we are hitting 75% of the time with 80% of the grass cut. So that means we're doing pretty good. Still not going to have a lot of time to clean up after yourself if you did miss grass. So uh, be thorough again. I know I say I, I know I say a lot a lot of the same things over and over again, but that's because they're important. Um, if you are interested in completing the expert challenges, the things I repeat are the things you really need to grasp in order to finish these uh, challenges completely. Uh, you notice uh, on that pass around the well, we barely had any grass to cut. That means on our next lap, uh, we're not going to be uh, going that direction around the well. It's important to maximize your time spent cutting. And uh, driving all the way around the well like that is just a waste of time. Uh, we have hit 90%. I'm pretty sure we're we're in good shape, uh, especially with the 90.5% or 99.5% cut requirement. If it was 99.9, I might be a bit worried, but with 99.5, we're in pretty good shape here. And there's the contract complete. Of course, you can see how much 0.5% is uh, in terms of this contract there. Two minutes to spare. And uh, you can pull up onto the ramp. Just be cautious because driving straight on usually gives you a little fine. And you can run away and leave the contract. There you go, folks. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, reach out and I will do my best to answer them. But if not, I will see you guys next time.